What's up guys? Welcome back to Marvel Minute News. It's your host Allie and the Morbius director explains the Tobey Maguire deleted Spider-Man Easter egg. Morbius finally hit theaters after several delays and so far the reviews from both fans and critics have not been great. This was Sony's latest attempt at their own Spider-Man universe and Spider-Man wasn't even involved. Although this is true, fans are confused because whether it was the Oscorp logo from The Amazing Spider-Man, Michael Keaton's Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming, or Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man on the mural, which means that all three Spideys have shown up at one time or another in the marketing for Morbius. There was never any confirmation to these hints but to fans that was a good indicator that there would be some sort of involvement of Spider-Man. The director of Morbius, Daniel Espinosa, was interviewed by Cinema Blend about the poster of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man seen in the trailers for the film but not actually appearing in the final cut. The director said that the image is only in the trailer, so for me as a director, I only do the movie. I as a fan have several kinds of opinions and thoughts about that, but since I didn't put it there, since it's not in the movie, and I didn't put it in the trailer either. So if I said something about what I think it is, it would be as a fan. He ended the statement saying, I would love to be honest and responsible, but I can't because it's not mine. You would think that the director would have some sort of say on what makes it to the trailers for their films, but I guess that's not always the case. Espinosa has already said that the audience will soon discover what the studio has in store for Spider-Man in the Venom Morbius universe. So maybe Sony thought that by the time Morbius released, they would have solid plans of the future because obviously the team up of Morbius did not choose to have this in their film. There's obviously a lot about Morbius that is disappointing, but I think a lot of people were disappointed by Spider-Man not appearing in the film after we were led in that direction. I personally don't think Spider-Man in this film would have made it any better. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates here on Marvel Minute News.